We do have two island areas, one right, one right there, and one over here. Now, we do still need to make... Uh, that's the wrong thing. Where was it? Uh, here it is right here. Objectives. We need to make two more uh, species, or have two more species in the park. Basically, two more habitats to carry the species. So I guess what we could do is just... Uh, well, what kind of habitats... Uh, well, I think we're using wood logs for the habitat walls, right? Looks like it, yeah. I, I definitely do want to keep the theme that we've got going on right here. Uh, oh, well, yeah, there's like chain link fence or something like that too, so that's kind of interesting. So, looks like there's a staircase going down over here and another staircase going down here. Maybe we'd fit in two enclosures here. Hmm, I'm like, we could probably fit in three, kind of like I said earlier, yeah. Where this, uh, this is split off into three enclosures right there, you know? So, let's just kind of make a, uh, let's make like a circle here, like in this middle, because it looks like there's like a slight hill right there in the middle, so let's kind of make a circle here if we can, and I believe, oh, I guess you can't do it for this one, but uh, I, I think maybe for other habitat enclosures, you might be able to make a, make them like curved and stuff, but for this wood one, I guess we're just going to have it be straight, so uh, let's just kind of, yeah, let's just make it go like this, there we go, and then we could kind of go along the edge of this water here, and then make it turn, uh, let's keep going. Looks like there's a lot of room up here, so there we go. And then we can turn around and just kind of do this. And then I think what we may do is actually just split this in half and then have two species inside of this one, you know? Instead of having like one giant enclosure for one species, then uh, there we go. That's nice and uh, finished off there. So we might be able to split this down like in the middle here. So uh, let's see if we can do that. And how are we going to split this one in the middle? Oh, it is kind of like a square-ish shape. We're going to split it down like this, or we're going to split it like this, or maybe even kind of do a unique thing and split it like that, although I don't think the guests would be able to see the uh, the critters in there. Very oh man, yeah. I guess what we could do, yeah. That'd be kind of interesting. Have a, have a have a path going through the middle, perhaps. That'd be interesting. I feel like that'd be pretty, uh, pretty cool. I don't know if we should do that with these two paths going off like that, though. Although, uh, you know what? We could. And then have it kind of split off here, maybe put like trees or something like that here in the middle. And then we could have a path there in the middle. Okay, so let's let's try that out. Let's see. How do we how do we get rid of the barriers easily? I guess we just do this. There we go. And let's get rid of the barriers that are in the middle. And this is where the uh, the path is going to go. So I guess we'll just get the path selection tool or whatever. Now what kind of paths are these? Like wood, like this uh, vertical. I think it is. Okay, so that's good. So let's uh, let's make this curve around like this. And then I guess what we could do is just kind of, yeah, let's just make this automatically just connect up over here. So, yeah, there you go. And then here in the middle, let's make this a little bit wider. So it's four meters wide right now. Let's make it like six meters. That should be fine. And let's do this. There you go. It's a big, big path there in the middle. And then uh, no matter where you are, pretty much, let's get the length down to like one. And it's going to end right there. Nice. All right. That's going to be great, you guys. So let's go back to habitat barriers. And let's, uh, let's kind of fence these off right here. Although, right now, we're probably going to go to glass. Let's go to glass. We could always change that to, like, one-way glass, you know? We could always change that a little bit later, but, uh, right now... Oh, wait, how do I, uh... uh oh, there you go. Okay, so that's glass now, so that's good. And these are, uh, two meters... Oh, man, they're only, like, two meters tall, though, you guys. These barriers? I'm going to have to make these barriers a little bit taller, I feel, because two meters... Eh, it's not really too much. And then we might want to select all of these and just kind of raise it up to like, maybe like two and a half, three meters or something like that. Especially because, you know, there are going to be monkeys in here. So they're going to hop around and jump around and stuff like that. So I, I wouldn't be too surprised. I think we could do this null thing to basically select all of these. I wouldn't be too surprised if they, uh, if they can escape or try to escape. Even, even if we have the unclimbable little things at the top. But uh, let's try and get the height. There we go. Just move that. Let's go to three. That sounds like a good, nice round number right there. You know, three for the inside. Of course, the rest of it isn't going to be threes, but this this bit that's going to be next to the path and stuff, that's going to be three meters. The rest of it's like 3.11-ish, so that, that seems pretty fine for me right now. Uh, let's do the same for this side. Put some glass on the inside as well as uh, raise it up to three meters tall. So let's grab some glass and do the same as that side. All right, there we go. So we have... Uh, three meters tall on the inside there, and basically three meters on the rest, so that should be fine. I don't quite know what the actual... Oh, man, yeah, these are actually pretty heckin' tall here, you guys. How tall are these? Is it gonna say... If I go to Edit Barrier, is it gonna say how tall... Eight meter, eight and a quarter-ish, seven-something. Ooh, so those are pretty tall. And these other ones, the path is kind of above the actual barrier, or the uh, actual enclosure, you know, like right here. So you're kind of looking down and stuff, so... Yeah, let's look at this barrier. Five and... Okay. 
go up to like maybe like five or something like that. <laughs> I feel like three, yeah, now, now looking at it right now, comparing it to the rest of the park and stuff. Yeah, let's we'll, we'll definitely, let's definitely select all these and make it uh, at least five meters tall on the inside. So let's make these a little bit taller and uh, oh, right there, 4.9. There you go, five meters. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot better right there. That seems good. <laughs> let's do the same thing for this side. There we go. All right, so now we have two enclosures over here. Now, what are we going to put in there? Let's let's go look at the zoo thing. Uh, let's actually check up on the man Manuel Francis. Manuel Francis, how's he doing here? How do I check the actual progress of this? Uh, oh, it looks like he's about eh, maybe a two thirds done right there on research level one. So that's pretty good. So what are we going to get for research number one? Probably like, I don't know. I don't know what those are right there. I guess we'll find out a little bit later for the heck and, uh, frog there. But let's go to animals here. And, uh, oh wait, these are animals. Oh yeah, well these are animals we have, so that's good to know, you know, which ones we already have. But, uh, so we go to habitats? Okay, yeah, okay, habitats. This will tell us, uh, what, what species we already have. We already have bonobo, bornean, orangutan, hippopotamus, mandrel, red ruffed lemur, and ring-tailed lemur. Let's go to animal trading and let's see what we don't have. Oh gosh. Now these, like, anteater looking things, and, uh, no, these are tapers. I think they're technically different, right? <laughs> but uh, there's tapers there, more bonobos there, we already have those. Orangutan, uh, hippos, mandrel, we already have those. Red rough lemur, already have those. Ring-tailed lemur, already have those. Ring-tailed lemur and western chimpanzee. I don't remember if we have that or not. Might want to look into it. Oh, it expired though, so I can't even grab it anymore, so yeah. That kind of sucks. Anyways, let's go to the top. Might want to get the, uh, the tapers. Seems like a pretty good, uh, critter to put over here, honestly. I don't think we have those yet, but, uh, let's see. Let's think expired. Animal being adopted with cash cannot be released in the wild. So we can buy those with uh, with cash or with... Let's do these. This one expires in like 45 seconds. So let's, let's adopt those with some cons conservation accredits. And uh, let's do another one. So we have a male and let's get a female. So there we go. So we have a male and female. So that's going to be great. And let's send those to the zoo. So uh, invalid destination. Uh, what do we need for these guys? I wonder. Probably need to get their enclosure perfect for them first. Oh, we have our vet research complete. Hey, the Goliath Frog. All right, that's good. But uh, I still haven't figured out the uh, the habitat thing. But uh, let's go to the Goliath Frog and let's go give it some stuff. Just because we have like nothing for it right now, right? So let's go here. Let's go to layout and let's give it a broken hollow log. There you go. And a wide hollow log and another log right there. Nice. So we should have some better layout there, right? Uh, maybe. I think it's better than it was before. It's at 60% right now. I don't know what it was just a second ago, but, uh, disable those. Oh, yeah, I was at 40. Okay. Well, at least it went up a little bit right there, right? <laughs> so that's always good. But, uh, I need to figure out, like, did I do something wrong over here setting these up? Uh, perhaps. I'll have to look into it, though. I right, guess I, f I figured it out. I, I kind of feel dumb now, but uh, yeah, the main thing I, I, I was missing was a habitat gate, which we did not have before, but now we do. So there we go. That was that. That was what was missing for me to officially make that a habitat. So there we go. Uh, seems pretty good to put those right there, kind of out of the way ish. And then now if we try and leave or uh, try and move the tapers over here, which, by the way, we could select all and then move both of them at the same time. We can move them over here to this habitat. So there you go, delivery scheduled. Now when they come into here, I kind of want to see, like, what do we need to do this place? It is raining right now, so I, I kind of sucks, honestly. I don't think we're able to, like, lock it to daytime or anything like that. Unfortunately, like, we can't even plan it coaster. But uh, we just got to wait for the rain to pass, I suppose. And then uh, wait for the, the one guys to get over here. Now, there are facilities that we're probably going to want to build, like, right here. Like that food place uh, for the for the animals. So guest facilities, small animal staff. Let's go to like, where is it? Staff facilities. Here it is right here. Uh, research center, research center, and research center. Oh wait, those are all research centers. <laughs> Keeper hut, quarantine, vet surgery, staff room, research center, workshop, and trade center. Wasn't there one for like food or something like that? I forget which one. Oh yeah, it was the keeper hut, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might want to get a keeper hut and put that over here. Uh, now which one would blend in over here? Uh, New World Keeper Hut Large. That's a big one. Kind of fits in. It is made out of wood. I suppose maybe we can put these here and this here. Oh gosh, there's that guy delivering some hiking stuff. But uh, I suppose we could put a keeper hut there because I don't know where the nearest keeper hut is. We could do this. Maybe in buildings. Uh, what is this building here? I have no idea. All facilities, staff facilities. Yeah, the nearest building is over here, which is... I have no idea what that could be. What is this? Uh, staff room. Yeah, there's, there's nothing really there, so... Guess if we can get a uh, keeper hut small. Oh yeah, we can get a keeper hut 
We can get a Keeper Hut small. Let's put a small Keeper Hut here. It doesn't really matter if it doesn't blend in too well, but uh, there you go. Keeper Hut small there. Let's put that there. That way they can uh, kind of trade center. I don't think we need to worry about that. At least we have a Keeper Hut thing there. But uh, now we have the Tapers over here, so that's good. So we have these little... Oh gosh, here we go. Enrichment, yeah, we need to worry about that. But Habitat, let's go to Habitat. And uh, oh yeah, terrain and stuff too. So we're going to need to get more short grass. And that's it. Okay. So I wonder... Is, uh, is, like, this just, like, dirt or something like that? I don't know. Let's go to a short gla- short grass, not glass. Sheesh. Let's get a little bit more of that for these guys. And hopefully... Okay, yeah, it's getting rid of the soil, but they're completely fine with some soil, so there we go. Looks like that's good there. Now, uh, they need a little bit of water, it seems. So, might want to get ourselves a little bit of water for them. So, let's, uh, I guess just lower the terrain, kind of dig a hole a bit, right? So, where would that be? Sculpting, here we go. Push some down. There we go. There's just a small little pond here for these guys to have a lake. It is kind of like downhill already, so it's going to be kind of tough to... There we go, that should be good. Alright, now let's try and fill that in with some water. Let's get some rough water in here. Uh, there we go, there's a little bit right there. And I guess that's enough for them. Okay. <laughs> Thought that'd be really, uh, really, really lackluster amounts of water right there, but uh, this is already kind of like tilted down a little bit, so... Can't really do too much about that, but uh, I suppose what we could do is kind of smooth this out a bit here. That way it's not as much of a... Let's do intensity of like a hundred. There we go. That way it's not as crazy of a, a steep drop right there, you know. And let's check. Uh, yeah, they're going to want a little bit more or a little bit less long grass. So let's definitely look into that here in just a moment. Let's get rid of the long grass. Make short grass here instead. There you go. Noise. And that's probably going to be fine for right now. Uh, would this have been a better? Ah, it's basically the same thing. It's like at the heckin' hill right there. So yeah, I can't really do too much about that. But it seems like they're fine here. Might want to... I want to paint a little bit more over here, at least make it look a little bit prettier. There we go, just a little bit more of that short grass. Seems like they're fine with that, so that's great. There we go. Just kind of paint it, making sure it uh, doesn't have brown all over the place and looking nasty, right? Hard shelter, are you going to want some hard shelter here? Oh gosh, a little bit too much short grass now, golly. <laughs> Alright, let's get uh, random long grass there. Uh, yeah, we don't want long grass, let's get soil. Let's get soil, light soil, there you go, that should be fine. Alright, that should be good. Alright, let's get ourselves a uh, hard shelter, so we want to want to go to like enrichment or whatever, so habitat. Let's go here to African shelter, I don't know. Kinda wanna see... Let's go to environment. Uh, so these guys are South slash Central America, so might want to get something for them. Especially uh, plants and coverage, so definitely we're going to want to get some plants and stuff for them. So their uh, biomes are tropical, temperate, and grassland, so let's go to tropical, temperate, grassland. And continent is South and Central America, so there you go. And let's just select some plants from over here. So let's get some water lilies. That should be good. At least for right now. Another water lily right there. A couple more. There you go. Noise. And uh, that should be fine. <laughs> uh, let's get some acai palms over here. And there you go. Just get ourselves a little bit of plant coverage. And let's get some more over here. And there you go. And let's put some more in. Let's just kind of cover the back here with a bunch of palms. Uh, here we go. That should be good for plant coverage. Oh, yeah, look at that. The plant thing just shot up tremendously right there, you guys. Nice. And let's get some small, like, shrubs if we can. Holy tree. Let's get some of these. Kind of stuff them here in the corner. There you go. Another holy tree. Oh, these are small ones. There you go. And there you go. All right. And what else do we have here? Vines, uh, vine curtains, lobster claw, small. Ah, uh, oh, look at that. The classic scavolas from Planet Coaster. I love these things. <laughs> Uh, let's get some more of these scavolas for these guys. Just kind of scatter them like so. And this is way more plants than they need, but uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing, right? Uh, oh, whoa, look at that tree. That's pretty unique. A uh, Wimba tree. Oh, gosh. That is massive. <laughs> That's way too big of a tree. Uh, Liana vines. Uh, I don't think we're going to worry about that. Uh, what else do we have here in terms of uh, banana palms? I guess we can get a few of those randomly over here. And there we go. And there you go. Nice. All right, so we have uh, plants covered over here. Environment, terrain, we just need hard shelter. So let's go get them uh, something for the habitat. And let's go to filter by species. What's it called? B. Yeah, here it is. Bear's taper. Let's go to metal basic shelter. Metal basic shelter. How's this look? Where can we stuff this thing? Uh, maybe like over here or something. Let's go to maybe like this. Yeah, here we go. Or maybe, maybe like in this corner. Here we go. This is good. Just kind of out of the way. There we go. So they have a shelter now. If I check on them, are they going to be like, okay, I have it. Yep. Or, uh, no, that's the wrong thing. Hard shelter. Okay, it's 49% right now. So 
Might want to get a uh, either another one of those or upgrade to a bigger one. So, uh, I guess we can get a second one of those. So, might want to stuff that one over here. That way, we have pretty good hard shelter for these guys. And there we go. Nice. All right. Let's see. Was it 98%? Uh, 83, yeah, that's a lot better than it was before, so that's good. So it seems like everything here is pretty good. Well, welfare, animal welfare is not do doing too well, and that's mainly because, yeah, the enrichment's not too good. So let's go down to habitat. We're already at habitat, so that's good. Uh, how's our temperature and stuff? I didn't check that specifically. Let's go to, uh, I don't know, enrichment. That's not where you check it. Uh, I have no idea where you check it. <laughs> I need to, I need to kind of wander around a little bit more, but uh, I think I think they might be fine here. I don't think it really matters too much to be quite honest. So let's just get some uh, stuff for them to mess around with. A large barrel. F oh yeah, we need heckin' feeders here too. Uh, we have this forage box. Sure, let's put this uh, somewhere where it's... Uh... Actually, I think I could do this. Oh wait, can I not... Uh... Wait, how do I... Oh, I can't rotate it like uh, on the Y-axis or whatever. So that kind of sucks. Food trough, large. Let's get a food trough for these guys. Put it like right here in the middle. Oh yeah, okay. It smooths out the land and stuff, so that's good. So we have a food trough there. Habitat bedding, large, extra large. That's eh, too big for that. Let's get a few. Oh gosh. Can you? Oh, here we go. All right. So now, now they have those in there. So that's good. Uh, let's put another one here in the middle. There you go. All right. So we have those there, and exit out of that, and let's start editing this building with some of these bedding here. So there you go. All right, nice. That's pretty good. So we have some of those going on right there. Let's check their uh, enrichment rating right now. If we can. Oh wait, we're uh, done editing that building. So that's good. Enrichment's still at zero. So uh, let's get a. Yeah, here we go. Rubbing pillars. Put that over here. And sprinkler. Oh gosh. Temperature's pretty hot over here. So perhaps we can get a sprinkler there, and a sprinkler over here, and a sprinkler uh, back there. All right. So that should be good. Uh, does this have electricity though? It might. I'm going to have to check this thing, and let's go to here to power. And I guess it does. Uh, yeah, I think so, because there's electricity, like, right here, and it's touching this habitat, barely. So I guess the whole habitat's being powered right now, so that's good. <laughs> All right, so let's check their enrichment now. Okay, enrichment's at 50%, so that's great. All right, let's continue giving them some stuff here. Herb scent. Uh, marker enrichment. Heater. I don't think we're going to want that. It's already hot here. Fruit spike tree. Sure, yeah, let's get one of those there, sure. Uh, forage box enrichment. Let's get one of these if we can. Obstructed. Here we go. All right, that seems pretty good. Checked on their uh, stuff now. So we have two tapers there. And enrichment is 100% there, you guys. Nice. All right, so I think we're doing pretty well here, you guys. Just the uh, the terrain, I, I could have done a better. I probably should have smoothed it out before building all this stuff, right? But <laughs> it's not really too big of a deal if uh, it's kind of all over the place here. Maybe, maybe they like that terrain. I don't know. Anyways, let's see if we can smooth this out a little bit here. And I think we're pretty good here, you guys. We're pretty well set. This is a pretty decent uh, area here for these guys. Not bad. I like it. Now, there was uh, another critter. Like, it's some sort of orangutan or something. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, another research for the Goliath uh, frog. Nice. Let's go check on that Goliath frog. Let's go see how he's doing over here. Might want to actually see. Uh, here's the exhibit. Layout's not too good. Still at 60%, but it should be better now, right? Uh, no, we don't have an enrichment level 2 yet. God, man, that sucks. <laughs> Whatever, we'll worry about that some other time. But, uh, is he fine? Climate's, uh, climate's good, so that's great. Windows, not really too concerned about that. I like it being, like, open like that. That's pretty cool. And I think the rest of it's fine. I don't think we need to worry about it. That's what I like to see, a happy, healthy Goliath frog. Nice. The temperature in the Goliath frog exhibit looks just right. Yep, it is. <laughs> so that's awesome. All right, man, I, I am loving... How, how she basically said, okay, you're good to go. Just, you're on your own now. And uh, we're, we're just kind of taking care of the rest of the park on our own now. She was really hand-holding in the first episode and half of this episode so far. So I like that we're kind of doing this on our own now. So we have one more creature we need uh, to put in here. One more species. I think we already looked into it. An animal. Oh, gosh. Another, uh, another thing for the Goliath frog. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Might want to let him, uh, maybe we can let him research something else. Yeah, let's, let's stop researching Goliath Frog. You'll research something a little bit later, but animal trading. If we go to animal trading, go on the animal market. I think, uh, it was down here, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, Western Chimpanzee or was it something else? I don't know. Oh, yeah, we should probably name our, uh, Taper Habitat too. I'll name it, uh, Baird's Taper. There you go. Baird's Taper Habitat. And we have another habitat over here, so we're going to want to find a creature for it. So we have tapers, orangutans, bonobos, hippopotamus, mandrel, red roofed lemur, and ring tailed lemur. So what do we not have yet? I think that western chimpanzee, that, that's got to be what we're missing, right? Yeah, western chimpanzee, we do not have those yet, so that's good. All right, let's get these guys. So there's a female there and a male. 
As a 28-year-old female, it's kind of old, honestly, compared to the other ones. 22-year-old male, 20-year-old male, 18-year-old male. But it is the only female, so hey, let's get a let's get a female right there. And we could get all of them, honestly. Like, uh, what's really stopping us? Might want to look at their social rating and stuff, right? I'll look at their social rating a little bit later. Fred, right I'm going to adopt both of them, so let's go to the Trade Center. And uh, let's select both of those and uh, move into this enclosure. So it's going to be the Western Champ Chimpanzee uh, Habitat. So let's change that to Western Chimpanzee. There we go. All right. So I think they're already on their way over here. So that's good. Uh, might want to preemptively, before they even get here, might want to smooth out the land a bit, right? So let's try and smooth this out as best we can. Honestly, I think the uh, I think the chimpanzees might like the bumpy terrain, to be quite honest. So might not necessarily be a bad thing there, you guys. Anyways, I guess we're just going to be playing the waiting game for right now. Just uh, waiting for them to get over here. Oh, 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 there they are right there. Look at that guy. Oh, gosh, they're both right there. <laughs> they both have heckin' chimpanzees in those, uh, in those boxes, you guys. They need to hurry up and drop them off inside this here habitat. And... They're going to just kind of throw the box on the ground like we've seen before. Yep, just throw it on the ground. My, my, you have been busy, haven't you? Splendid! But now that you've adopted all these lovely new species, we need to make sure they're nice and happy. So, let's get the average welfare across the zoo nice and high, shall we? And by we, I mean you. Go on, get to it! Alright, well, this one is injured. I did not know that. I, I called over the vet over here just to hopefully check up on her, but uh, we need a uh, social. We need to check up on their social, maybe get more of these guys, just like I thought earlier, so might want to check on their social. Where is that at? Adult population, yeah, it's at two right now. It seems like they're going to want four, so let's go to animal trade and let's go get those two other ones before they're, like, not on the market anymore, right? So let's go... Oh, yeah, there's three more over here, so let's get you. Adopt. That's a 16-year-old, 20-year-old, and 22-year-old. Here we go. All right, so that should be good. We're going to have five of these guys in here in total. And then we're going to have to worry about some other stuff here as well. Uh, let's go to animal trading, select all, and move here. There you go. And hopefully the vet comes over here and checks up on this one, though, because it is injured. I don't like that at all. But uh, social should be good now once uh, once they get over here. But let's check up on environment. So tropical and Africa. Let's go to habitat or uh, nature. Let's get rid of all these filters here. Reset filters. Let's go to tropical. And let's go continent Africa. So there we go. It's like a bunch of trees for these guys, you guys. Oh gosh, really big tall tree. I like that. Really big tall. I wonder if they can actually physically climb in those trees. If so, that's going to be really cool, you guys. Let's get three big strong trees for this. Really nice. I like that. Uh, let's continue getting a, a, a custard apple tree. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, there's the vet right there. Okay. Go check up on that chimpanzee. Hopefully that chimp's doing fine. Let's put another tree over there. Let's put another apple tree here. And, uh... Coconut palm. Ooh, nice. I like that. Let's put another one here. There you go. Oh, what in the world is he? Oh, I think he took the chimpanzee and is going to go check up on him? Maybe. I haven't had a minute to myself all day. Well, who cares? I mean, maybe. I guess I'll go get another one. I don't know. Uh, what does he say? Wait, oh, hold on. What's that say? Going to vet surgery. Ooh. I wonder if that's. Uh, oh, gosh. Well, here are the, uh, the three other ones, I think. I only see two guys, but we just. We just bought three and hopefully three are on the way but here we go more of them right there so it's going to be great and we're going to have a lot more uh like uh, creatures here but mangrove apple let's get another tree let's put this back here i like that uh tree fern oh let's get a few of these i like that just kind of scatter them like so and uh tree fern there you go nice let's check up on their uh the rating and stuff right now of course we need to get the terrain a little bit better but worry about that a little bit later yep coverage is good plants are good let's go to terrain now so a little bit more short grass and a lot less long grass. So let's let's work on that. And a lot of soil, it seems. Or eh, a decent amount of soil. They just need a little bit more than what they have right now. So let's get a little bit of soil in here. Let's get a, let's get some heavy. That way it kind of looks like it's... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Right on the bottom of the tree. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. Right at the bottom base of the tree. Let's put a bunch of soil. That seems pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. Do they like that? Yeah, they're, they're fine with that soil, so that's good. Let's get rid of the, uh, the short or uh, the long grass. And, uh, let's do an intensity or a size of 2 and an intensity of 50. And a size of 11. Here we go. Dangerous. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even see. Oh, man. We didn't make. Oh, man. Pause. Let's pause that. Uh, emergency capture animal. No, it's just get a uh, vet to get that animal. <laughs> I forgot to make the, uh, the insides of these, you guys. I forgot to make them. Uh, Unclimbable or whatever. Man, they, that was even one of the yeah, climb proof. That was even one of the things. So yeah, left side there. Let's do uh let's select all these here. 
And um, I think maybe we'll have to do the same thing for the glass, but I don't know if they can actually physically climb glass, you guys. So, uh, oh wait, yeah, I think uh, I think when I select the, uh, yeah, 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 look at that, wood logs, climbable. But if we go to glass, not climbable. So that's good to know. So let's we'll select all the wood here. And I don't think we need to worry about the tapers escaping, you guys. Holy heck. But uh, the chimpanzee escaped there, so we need to watch out for that. So which way was it, right? That right side? Or I guess we could do both just to be super safe, but uh, yeah, let's definitely do right side. So there you go. So that's good. Then uh, we can exit out of that. And I think we're fine now. All right, so nothing should <laughs> climb out of that anymore. But uh, yep, 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 yeah, look at that. They climbed inside of the trees that are over here. That's cool. I wonder if they can climb in these big old tall old trees there. I wonder. But uh, right now, now we could unpause. I, th I think it's safe to unpause. Oh, gosh. What happened? Uh, unbox all animals move. Yeah, there we go. Delivery scheduled. Uh, I guess the... I guess they boxed the, uh, the critters there, so that's good to know. <laughs> I've got to box the critters inside here, though, but, uh, whatever. Anyways, uh, cancel move, unbox all animals. I don't know what happened. I guess they automatically boxed it there? I have no idea what happened. I didn't box them. Anyways, uh, I do need to check up on their stuff, so can I select the... Uh, I guess we can't check up on their stuff while they're, uh, especially that one that's outside, right? Where are the other ones at? There are two other ones. I'm like, that one's a box. <laughs> unbox that. I'm like, we could probably unbox that one, honestly. We can unbox that one. And we can unbox this one. Unbox that one. There we go. Oh, they're they all... Yeah, there's three of them here at the beginning. So there we go. So that the, these are unclimbable. So that's good. Social should be better once that other one gets back here, right? But I uh, want more short grass and a lot, long, lot less long grass. So let's go back to terrain. Go to short grass. Let's get rid of the long grass here. And I think that's going to be good. All right. Uh, climbable area. I guess they don't have enough climbable area here. So I definitely want to get more of these trees that they can climb, I suppose. So uh, maybe get more of these. Which which trees are these? Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to duplicate it. So there we go. And uh, we could make uh, one of those climb climbable things, right? In the habitat. Go to enrichment items. And then let's go to box outside habitat for two. What? Well, uh, somewhat... <laughs> Is, is, are the vet people, are, are they not get, are going to be able, oh gosh. Are they not going to be able to heckin' get it? I'm like, that's been, uh, like, scheduled to move for who, who knows how long. I kind of want to get a path and just kind of build a path over there, you guys. Let's get a really small path and just build it over there. Hopefully, uh, one of the vets is able to go over there and I can pick up the, uh, chimpanzee, but there we go. So hopefully, uh, heckin' vet's going to go over there. Let me go to, let me go to staff. Oh gosh, do we only have one vet? Yeah, yeah, we only have one vet. Holy heck. <laughs> Let's get another vet. So here we go. I'm going to place you right there. And hopefully someone... Oh, oh gosh. Really? Uh... Cancel move? Why is there no one... What? I have no idea why I can't put this chimpanzee in there. It's like stuck. You're just walking away. Uh, okay. I have no idea what in the world. I'm like, I guess I could, uh, train you, so... I, I don't know why I would, but you're, you're doing literally nothing right now. Ah, oh, man. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Oh, 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 you go. Oh, oh, I guess because this guy's going over there. Man, or at least I put a heckin' path over here so you can actually get it. Jeez. Anyways, now now there's more climbable area in there, so that's good. Let me, let me check up on the chimpanzees that are here. Because there's one right here. Oh, whoops. It's like you. There you go. Uh, let's check up on their stuff. So enrichment. Definitely want to get them some uh, enrichment stuff. So let's go to, and let's get ourselves a lemur climbing thing. Small animal climbing. Small animal. I don't know if they could actually use the lemur climbing thing, but I suppose I could build one just because why not? So there you go. Hopefully that's pretty good for their uh, stuff. Oh, look at that. He finally picked a nice. Okay, so I guess I have to have a path over there for them. Uh, climbable area. That did go up right there, so that's good. So I guess we'll get another lemur climbing thing and just kind of put it like right here. Uh, there you go. All right. Is that too... Uh, that might be okay. <laughs> All right, look at that. They're climbing around, so that's good. Climbable area is good. They need some hard shelter now, so let's get them some uh, some hard shelter. So let's go to beds and shelters. Perfect. And let's get a classic shelter, or uh, let's get a wooden one. That's going to be perfect. Let's see, where, where could I fit this? Maybe like back here in this corner. That's going to be fine. So here we go. All right, that's good. Get a uh, bedding large. Those back here. There we go. Some bedding for them. Nice. And uh, where is the animal at? Oh, there he is, right there, just kind of on the climbing thing. Okay, unbox you, and, uh, oh, what in the world? Uh, unbox all animals. There we go. Uh, I guess we'll move this. I might as well. It's kind of in the way. <laughs> yeah, let's put it, like, let's put it, like, right here. That's gonna be good. All right, there you go. Nice. Even though some of it is technically floating, but whatever. <laughs> uh, why is this? Why do they keep appearing in boxes? I have no idea. 
Anyways, check their uh, enrichment stuff. Enrichment's not good. Oh yeah, they need freaking food. What in the world's wrong with me? <laughs> I need a. Uh, let's go to food and water. Here we go. Uh, let's get a water bowl. Let's put the. Let's put a water bowl. Let's put it like right here. That should be fine. And let's get a uh, feeding platform. Three meters, four meters. Let's put a feeding platform over here. That should be good. All right, that's gonna be. Let's get a water pipe over here as well. That way they have water and food like right next to each other. That should be good for all of them. So that's going to be great. And let's check up on the chimpanzees. Let's check up on their uh, enrichment. Is still nothing right now, but it should go up, right? All right, I've got a, uh, I've got a keeper over here. He's going to supply some food. So hopefully it's going to be good for their enrichment over here because it is, is literally at zero right now. And uh, oh, oh, look at that. There's some food right there. Noise. All right. Well, their nutrition. This one's nutrition is fine. This one's social is fine. All that kind of stuff. So that's good, but. I guess we're just going to have to play the waiting game and uh, wait for their enrichment to maybe go up. Literally, the whole entire family's over here. Five chimpanzees over here hanging out, eating food off the ground. So that's good. But uh, we need to get uh, increased average habitat species overall welfare to 90%. We're at 83 right now. That's going to go up substantially here. Hopefully pretty soon, right? Guess I can get a block of frozen fruit. Grab a ball. Uh, sure, put one of those things there. Sprinkler. Yeah, let's get a sprinkler. Let's put that, uh, let's put it like right here. There you go. There's a sprinkler. Here's a sprinkler, and here's a sprinkler. All right, now is this powered? I don't think it is. If I remember correctly, this was not powered, was it? Yeah, this is definitely not powered here, so definitely gonna to wanna to make a, uh, let's go to facilities, let's go to utilities, transformer, I guess I guess we'll place one of these down somewhere. And let's just put it down like right here. There we go, and we should be good to go now. All right, so is this powered now? If I go to the uh, electric, oh, I think it is. All right, I think it's powered, so that's good. So, let's check up on their, uh, their stuff now. They're playing around with the sprinklers. So, uh, enrichment is at 13%. Should be, uh, should be going up. Species toy enrichment has gone up. Species food enrichment is nothing right now. So, I'm definitely going to want to get them, like, that frozen, uh, like, fruit in ice or whatever. Yeah, frozen block of ice or... <laughs> frozen, uh, block of frozen food. That's what it's called. Block of ice, bomb and enrichment. So... It's gonna be a block of frozen food. Let's put that like, uh, let's put it like right here. Sure, there you go. Musical keyboard. Hey, that seems pretty cool. Let's get a heckin' keyboard for these guys. That's gonna be fun. Let's put that there. <laughs> Hopefully they know how to play it. Tool puzzle feeder. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty cool. Let's put that, uh, let's put that like right here. There you go. Puzzle feeder. Roller feeder. That's gonna be cool. Let's put that here as well. Look at all these like different feeders and stuff we have here, you guys. Holy heck. But, uh, oh gosh, enrichment is 80% now, so that's good. Look at this. We've got, uh, species food enrichment has gone up. Toy puzzle feeder, that's good. Small fixed roller feeder, that's great. Uh, definitely going to want some more toys for these guys, though, because that's, that's red right now, so. Definitely want to get it up to 720, so. Let's see, what are we, what are we going to get for them in terms of, like, toys? Uh, suspended forager. Uh, bobbin enrichment? I suppose we'll get one of those. Climbable bra- oh gosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Climbable branch. Let's definitely get one of these things here. It's perfect for these guys. Let's get that uh, like right there. Climbable log. Let's get one of these here. That's going to be great for them. Hopefully they don't use that to climb out, right? Golly. Block of ice. Uh, sure. Put that there. Mirror mobile. Uh, that might be kind of interesting. So we'll put that right here. It's going to be another toy for them. We have so many like toys and stuff for these guys. What is happening? What's happening to all the all the critters here? Oh gosh, there's a guy flying right there. What in the world was that? Uh, I have no idea why these guys are getting like boxed up and stuff. Hopefully they're not like escape. Maybe they're escaping. I don't know. <laughs> and there's enrichment at 100%. There, species toy enrichment's not too good there. Uh, let me check on the other stuff. We're at 84% habitat species overall welfare. So I guess we'll go check up on the uh, other stuff that's going on in the park. So let's go to zoo. Let's go to animals. Let's check up on the uh, welfare. And what is low? The bonobos. Okay, let's go check up on them. How are they doing? Let's go see how they're doing. Might want to... Oh yeah, they don't have any enrichment. So let's definitely get them some enrichment stuff. So and we're going to want some like food and... Uh, yeah, food and toy enrichment stuff. So let's do the same thing over here. Let's get them the exact same stuff. The musical keyboard. Let's definitely put that like in front of the uh, in front of the glass here. So let's get a musical keyboard. Put that right there. Mirror mobile. Let's put that there. Toy puzzle feeder thing. Let's get one of these here. And let's get some sprinklers, because, uh, hey, it's going to be pretty hot. So, hey, might as well cool them off a little bit if I can, right? So, let's get a couple of those going. What is happening? Why'd they all just get boxed up right there? I have no idea. Anyways, enrichment went up, so that's good. Uh, pretty good on toy and uh, food enrichment there, so that's great. All right, see how we're doing uh, progress-wise. We're up to 87%, so that's awesome. 
Let's go see what else we have to do. See if uh, any, anything else has low welfare, relatively low welfare. The tapers, or uh, at least that specific taper. Let's go check up on you. Uh, nutrition is not doing too well, so maybe we can get another feeder over here. Yeah, that, that yeah, we, we're definitely going to want another feeder because I guess having two of these guys over here, the one of them just eats all the heckin' food, right? So let's get another feeder for these guys, and let's call it keeper to the habitat. Oh gosh, something escaped. Oh, what in the world are you doing flying right there? What in the world? Uh, where is this guy? I can't see. He escaped. Oh, he. Oh, wait, where is? Oh, he's in a different enclosure. I think that's what happened there. Okay, well, let's definitely call the vet over here. Sheesh. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, he doesn't escape anymore. But how did he escape there? Perhaps he climbed on top of one of these things. Maybe I've. What are you doing? Uh, exiting habitat? Yeah, uh, Oh, okay, that's, uh, there you go, that's one way to escape out of the habitat, sheesh. I'm getting a little tired, yeah, I'd be tired too if I was floating, but, yeah, I, we're gonna need a heckin' guy to get over, and, uh, heckin', oh gosh, another lemur? Two of them are over here? Vet is en route? Yeah, right, I doubt that. Call vet? Oh my gosh. Two of them escaped. How are they getting into there? I have no idea. And our hippopotamus is hungry, apparently, so... I guess we're going to need a, I don't know, get another feeder for him, maybe? I don't know. I'm like, there's already one feeder there. I suppose we can get another feeder for him, so let's just get that feeder and just duplicate it, so. Uh, there you go. I guess, if anything, maybe I can select these, uh, th these barriers here. Select these barriers and just make them taller, you know? So, uh, let's see. There you go, that should be good. Let's change these over. It's currently 15-ish feet. Let's change that to 20 feet. Uh... There we go, 20-ish feet right there. Okay, so even though these are apparently unclimbable with the barriers and stuff, they still got climbed over, so just kind of upping the, the actual height of that, hopefully that's going to help out, you know? <laughs> Anyways, Oswald the uh, hippopotamus is still hungry. I have no idea why, because uh, there's literally food over there, but whatever. Hopefully he's going to eat, but uh, let's check on our other welfare. We're currently 87% right there, not too bad. Other than uh, Oswald the hippopotamus, what else do we have here? George the bonobo. Let's go check up on him, see how they're doing over here. Lovely job there. You should be proud of yourself. Not only have you expanded the zoo and kept the animals as happy as Lanny, but you didn't bankrupt us in the process. Amazing. All right, there you go. I think I think we finished everything here, you guys. That's great. And the hippopotamus is still hungry. Wow. Well, you've certainly transformed the zoo. I barely recognize it. A wonderful new exhibit, some fascinating new species, and you've done wonders for the animals' welfare by enriching their habitats. <laughs> Who doesn't love playing with a three-foot wide soccer ball, huh? <laughs> I mean, other than professional soccer players. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy, though. I expect money was tighter than a possum's pouch. Plowing all those funds back into the welfare of the animals doesn't make running these places a picnic. Although... It does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh God. as far as I'm concerned, the only reason to run a zoo is to help animal kind. Sadly, it appears some other people have far less noble goals. Uh-oh. Uh, it seems like these guys are fighting right now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, animal alert. Fighting for animal uh, alpha status. I don't know if I could do anything about that, to be quite honest. <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe I don't have two of the same, like, aged critters in here, perhaps? I have no idea. Anyways, I guess that's it. I guess we beat the island here, you guess, scenario, so that's good. Look at that, we got uh, all three stars here, all, everything is just kind of done. I feel like this was a pretty good, uh, little, little step up from what we had beforehand, where basically the first episode was us, like, getting hand-holded, like, through the whole entire episode, to be quite honest. And now this one, about halfway through, they just kind of let me just kind of... What is with the floating people? I just saw people fall out of the sky right there. <laughs> but uh, they, they basically just said, hey, yeah, do these things. And uh, I did them, and looks like we beat the island there. So that's good. They, they're not super-duper hand holding on rails like they were earlier on, and I'm liking that. So it seems like we may have one more tutorial level after this. But for right now, it seems like we're done here. So I suppose we just kind of head on out here. Let's exit the main menu. I suppose we'll see what's up next, and then we'll end off the episode. And it looks like Bear Essentials Panda Park. Yep, that's another tutorial here, you guys. So let's just select that, and let's read about it real quick, and let's see what we're going to be jumping into when we come back with more Planet Zoo. Panda Park. Panda Park is Bernard Goodwin's newest zoo, built from the ground up to celebrate the panda in all its forms. 
This park represents an unparalleled opportunity to show the world just how much the Goodwin Foundation knows about breeding animals on the cusp of endangerment, so don't squander it. Oh man, you guys, this is going to be pretty cool. So an endangered species, a panda. We're going to be messing around with pandas next time, you guys. So that's going to be really, really awesome. An endangered species as well. Or at least on the cusp of endangerment. So a lot of weight on our shoulders, if you ask me. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Planet Zoo, where it looks like we're going to be saving the pandas. So I'll see you guys then. Oh, bye there.